there friends welcome back to another video tutorial and in this video tutorial we're going to see how you can create a badge in jetpack compose so the first thing you'll have to do is uh, you just come to your main activity or any activity that you are in then uh, you'll have to start by uh, typing badge box then uh, this badge uh, modifier this is where you are going to put the badge so just create a parenthesis there uh, put them in separate lines then come inside here and say badge so this is what will uh, create the badge so if you want to customize your badge if you hover over this you can see that you can add a background color the content color of uh, what could be in the badge so let's maybe change the background color so background color and give it black and uh, maybe the content of this badge uh, we want it to be white maybe you want to enter a number so content color give it white then down below here uh, come here and say uh, the content so what do you want to have inside of this badge so basically badges are used when uh, you have ever used a message app you can see like there's a badge of 100 messages so it's majorly used in those purposes but you might have some unique scenarios where you want to use this badge but that's one of the example so come inside of this content and say text then uh, you're just maybe going to say uh, 10 messages which have not been uh, written so that's how you create a badge and uh, a badge cannot be standalone it must be appended to something so in my case if you remember in the first example i told you it's majorly used by messages app to show the amount of uh, 100 messages and uh, so that the user can know and be notified so just come here and we'll be using a notification icon so just come here and say icon then um, just come and say icons dot uh, field dot notifications icon and uh, let's give a give it a content description of notification just for accessibility reasons so notifications then come down below and put them in separate line so basically that's all you have to do so let's run the app and see what we have so the app has finally run and as you can see we have a notification icon here with the maybe the number of messages which have not been written or the notifications you have not uh, read so what if you want to maybe move this badge closer to this icon or maybe further to this icon how are you going to do that so the first thing you'll have to do is just come inside here your badge then use the modifier and we'll be using the offset so that we can either push the badge closer to the icon or push the badge further to the icon so just come here and say modifier dot offset and uh, so in our case we want to maybe move this closer to the icon so we'll be using the x axis so just come here and say the x axis and for you to move this badge closer to the icon you will have to use a negative value so just come here and say negative 6 dp and uh, if you run our app we'll see the new changes so the app has finally run and as you can see the badge has moved closer to the notification what if you want to move the badge below or down to the maybe the bottom of the icon so for you to do that you have to use the y axis so just come here and say y then uh, put maybe 10 dp there because you want it to move down so let's run the app and see what we have so the app has finally run and as you can see the badge has moved uh, down so basically that's all for you to create a badge uh, you might have other scenarios where you want to use a badge but majorly it's being used when you want to show the number of 100 messages or the number of notifications the user has received so basically that's all uh, thank you for watching if you like this video uh, please uh, subscribe for more Android development tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.